Hey everyone, how's it going? Octopus here, welcome back to Union Cross. So, it is 5.22 a.m. I haven't slept yet, had a long day at work, and while I was at work, during my breaks, I played around with Quest 160. It's been requested so many times by a ton of you guys, and I kind of want to make this a starting point of helping new players and players right now try to pass Quest 160. Now, I know there's a lot of easy ways to do it if you bought VIP medals, uh, like KR11, um, if you have high score challenge medals, but we're going to try to do strategies where we can jump around that and apply to as many people as possible. So not only this video, I'll be making more videos. The more I figure it out, the more I do. I haven't really touched on it ever since it came out. I didn't even look at it because I was doing so much other things, including Penelope. And the reason I'm awake at 522 is because she's going to wake up very soon. I'm going to feed her and then I'm going to go to bed. So... We're going to do this. Um, this is basically what I did on my break. First off, guys, the most important thing you guys want to do for this strategy that I'm going to show you, mine, is increase your skill perk. Go to accessories, filter everything, and put on skill perk. These are all the items you guys can use for skill perk. If you guys want to organize it better, go head A, find the best one. Plus six is my uh, Jack Sparrow hat there. Once you do the headpiece, go to head B. And then if there's nothing there, go to face A. If there's nothing there, go to face B until you find something, equip it, and then keep going through all of that until you make the highest skill perk that you possibly can. So let's go back to the quest. So the whole point of this, again, is just to start off to help people uh, have a place where we can all talk about it. Now, there's probably some chat room somewhere, but I don't go digging. Uh, I take whatever I got and then I use it. So this is what I've been doing today This is what I figured out and hopefully this helps you guys out in some way now the strategy here is This right here now Kyrie's only there because of the second chance too. so I recommend a metal with second chance two on it These two guys right here have extra attack that doesn't have to be those metals specifically what you guys can do is grab one star metals and fuse them together to get extra attack and then when you do that add paralysis on them both these metals have extra attack that's all i'm going to use on them is extra attack and paralysis so that's four chances to paralyze the iron giant now you guys can go really lucky and do one of these and add more buffs for all of this but that's tip number one uh, or tip number two tip number one is increase your skill perk as far as possible tip number two is get two extra attack metals and put sleep on it or paralysis plus if you do sleep, then your pet metal has to be the metal with sleep on it. That guarantees that the giants will not hit you. Uh, what I got here is Joshua, and he's basically our buffer for three attacks. So he'll do this, this, and himself. So these three metals are our main attackers. Here is survivability. Now again, this isn't the end-all strategy. There's probably better strategies. This is not to one-turn it, but this is to fully complete it. Another big thing that I want to talk about since this is happening right now is basically in the shop, Toon Medals. So not only do we have the high score challenge going on right now, Toon Medals are released. They're 1500 each. I'm not saying go out there and guilt them, but these guys have an attack of 8 to 11 to 13. So the, the upright ones do 8. I believe the reverse ones do 13 and the sword does 11. So these two metals are not only high multipliers, single target, they're also buffers. So if you do get Xion or if you do get uh, Aqua, those two metals right there, those two metals will help you out greatly, especially if you get some good traits. So I'm not saying go out there and pull uh, for the two metal banner just to pass quest 160. I'm just saying if you did pass, uh, if you did pull for the two medals, you now have medals that are very, very strong and also have buffs on them. So take that into consideration if you guys want to do something like that. Those are really good medals right there and they're guaranteed every pull. Not the uh, magic ones, but they're still eight hitters with some attributes on them. You can use them with the pet slot. So if you pull Ventus like I did and you have a really good uh, speed metal that has eight hits you put in the pet, sl uh, pet slot and then you stick that ventus over here to buff that metal so that's just another thing to consider guys the two metals right now are really good for this quest if you grab the magic ones because you can fit aqua over here and Shion over here so that's another tip for you guys um, basically what i'm doing here if you don't know already this is the best thing to do 
uh, right now use a power metal on the pet slot because we got 40% increased damage and that's why you guys see uh, this guy right here. Not only that because he does 12 hits and he has a huge multiplier plus he has that extra 40% guilt now. If I, um, That's pretty much what I got on that. What you guys want to do when you're doing equipment is look for a metal with extra attack to them, do the paralysis, but also undo everything over here. Hit 5 to 9 and 10 plus. Those two things are going to activate and special gauge bonus. Then look at the metals you guys have available that do that many hits. So right here, that does 11 or sorry, over 8 hits. That doesn't do over 8 hits. He does 11 hits. That's who you're going to put in the pet slot. The metal that has 8 hits or more that is guilted and has the most damage for you. So you just got to look through all your metals until you see a metal that says deals 15 hits. So you guys can use whatever you want in that slot. But right now is power. This is what I'm going to use. And up to you guys what you guys want to use. If you have your Donalds around, you know where Donalds going to go. But I'm not going to use the Donalds because that's a little older and we can't farm it right now. So I'm going to try to be more realistic. Um, it doesn't have to be exactly the metals I'm using here, guys. Build your setup according to that. Your pet slot is going to be your strongest 8 plus hitter. Everything else here is to buff it and survive. Now, this is all RNG. Paralysis is like the worst RNG in the game. It's RNG on top of RNG. It's ridiculous. Not only does Paralysis have to stick, it also has to affect the enemy. So you can get Paralysis on him right now. Oh, that shouldn't have been activated. I just wasted some SP there. Don't forget to take off auto battle again. Tip number 99. <laughs> so, uh, basically right here, guys, you're going to go in. You're going to tap four times trying to get Paralysis off. I tried poison. Poison activates, but it never lands on him. Uh, it could, but the chances of it actually happening seem very slim. But right here, we're going to keep tapping until Paralysis sticks. If Paralysis sticks, we can continue from this point on. So from this point on my Joshua here, I got SP attack gauge 1. I prefer attack boost 4 max and SP gauge on my uh, organization 13 members. But I have to use attack boost 4 and attack price plus on one of them. Because I didn't have an attack boost 3 max or 4 max. So I got to make do with this. SP gauge with attack boost 3 max is really, really needed. Especially you guys see I'm lacking damage here. But the whole point is do a good amount of damage and hope paralysis sticks. So right there, Paralysis doesn't stick, and that's why we have the second chance too. Because what if this was the last turn that you needed, and Paralysis didn't work, and then you just lost because of that. That's why I have the Kyrie there, for the second chance too. Now after this, I have to hope that uh, Paralysis sticks. Now Paralysis has to stick, and hopefully Attack Boost 4 APP goes off to restore my SP. Attack Price Plus is really good for restoring SP if you don't have SP gauge medals. As you guys can see, I'm running out of SP. But these are all tips you guys can do. Process doesn't stick again. It's very, very RNG, and that's why I say put skill perk on there so Paralysis can stick. He is a high-level enemy, so for Paralysis to stick is going to be very hard, and that's why I said bring in a metal with extra attack and sleep on it if you have good magic metals. If you have good magic metals but your problem is surviving, try the sleep on the pet slot. That works too. I don't know why I did that again. <laughs> Well, I just wasted some SP there. Let's see if Prelsa sticks. Let's try to see if we can get one of them to land so I can show you what I'm talking about. You guys know how Prelsa works, but this is very RNG. But if you guys dedicate your time right now, it's zero AP. So keep going as much as you can. Bring in Attack Boost 3 Max and SP Gauge 1 or 2 for your other metal. But right here, guys, it's like near impossible to survive. Uh, we're going to die again. That's fine. Let's see if Prelsa sticks. Well, it's not fine, but the whole point is we're trying to get through. Hopefully, one of my attack boost 4s go off right here. Right here, this has to go off. So, right here, attack price plus will give us a bar and a half. So, it's not as good as having attack boost 4 max and SP gauge 2 or 1. That turns out a lot better. So, again, Pearls doesn't stick. So, it's very, very, very RNG, guys. But I have had Pearls to stick multiple turns, and I got lucky. It's just that I ran out SP because I don't have the proper skills on here. Another thing you guys can do, if you don't want to rely on, what do you call it, double, double paralysis, you guys can do one of these. So, you can put general defense down, 5 to 9, 10 plus, and use some general defense down medals. That works out as well. 
I have medals over here that do eight hits. I believe not Zigbar. Zigbar costs too much SP. But right here, deals eight hit. Dark Riku, we can lower it. We can lower it with uh, SP Sorry here. So if you guys want to lower your defense, you guys can do that. Or if you guys want a buffer, use a buffer. And if you guys got Goofy here, Goofy will complement your power metal. So your power metal does more damage. But I'm going to use some general defense down and see if that works out as well. Again, have your survivability and then have your damage. You guys want to balance both. If we're trying to one turn this, then sure, we can do other stuff as well. Trying to put our best medals in there. Even medals that don't able to activate, as long as they have the negative 60 trait, you can tap them. It'll do like 10,000 damage. That helps out too. Remember, every bar of HP on there is 20,000 damage. So here we're going to hold Paralysis Sticks. Paralysis Sticks, now we have Paralysis up and ready. And we got Second Chance 2. So this turn should go pretty good. The whole problem right now is SP gauge. If I had an attack boost for max and SP gauge on this, this would work out a lot better. But you guys can see, I'm doing around the same amount of damage actually, if you look at it. So right here, paralysis or second chance. So paralysis doesn't stick again. It really doesn't want to show in this video. I, I knew it was going to happen. I'm like, oh, it totally worked while I was not recording. And now it's not working. So let's see if, like, if uh, Paralysis hits this time. <laughs> this does work, guys. It's just incredible RNG, and it's kind of ridiculous how much RNG you actually need in this. There's an attack boost four, which works out nicely, a little bit nice, but right there, Paralysis, no, Paralysis, not again. So it just doesn't want to work out for me, guys, in this video. Let's switch it around to another situation. I know I'm not showing me fully completing this is because it's going to take a lot of attempts over and over and over. Um, I feel like adding this didn't really do anything. Let's see what it deals. Lowers target's defense by two tiers for one turn. Yeah, I feel like it didn't do anything. So what I'm going to really do here is just put the Goofy and go back into that. Now, Goofy, I can put a Mickey and Broom on Goofy and use that instead of Psyx Speed. That will do a lot more damage. But I don't know if I want... Uh, what do you call it? I don't want that metal guilted. I might use the Mickey and Brooms for something later. And also, I only have one Mickey and Broom left. So let's try this again. Paralysis seems to be sticking, just not affecting him. So one metal with extra attack is pretty good. Uh, right here, we're going to activate everything. If this costs two, that costs one, and the other two costs two, I wouldn't be wasting too much SP. You definitely want to have a metal with SP APP on it, but mostly SPs on it. So this is not going to affect this metal, but this gives this metal 35,688. So this strategy turns out a lot better than the other strategy. Second Chance 2 didn't even activate. But buffing my Psyx B along with the Times 3 Strength buffer, you guys saw how many bars of HP I took down there. Um, I guess if I had Illustrated Goofy fully guilted, I could do this too. But these are all tips you guys can use. Um, it's not the best, it's not perfect, but hopefully something here helps you out. Let me see if I can tap the... Now, I know my genie can be used as well for buffs for my uh, my, my medals, but I don't want to waste that much SP. <laughs> Especially since I don't have the SP gauge on this guy right here, Demix. Demix needs it badly. So there you go. Attack boost 4 went off. I did 17,000 damage, and this did 36,000 damage. I believe I can do this in two, thir two turns or three turns. So if one process actually landed, I'd be set right now. Okay, we're going to tap here. We need process to land now. Process lands. That's good. Activate Goofy. Goofy does some damage too, even though he's not guilted. Activate my Joshua here for my times three buff. Um, am I going to have enough for here? If I use it, that goes to four. That's not going to do much here, guys. I'm not going to do it. I'm going to do that. And we're just going to activate this. I don't think I had enough. But right here, guys, if I use Nova, if I use Nova, I would have been fine as well. But Process didn't stand. If Process did stick, if I had more SP gauges on here, you guys saw I would have completed that. So that is pretty much all the tips I got for this video. If you guys got more tips, leave in the comment section. I'll try that one more time with you guys. This is basically, uh, it's, it's trial and error, trial and error. But I do believe Process will stick at least once if you guys have that much power. Especially right now that the we have those power boosts. This turns out to be a really, really good strategy. I think I would have won. I definitely would have beat this if I had the proper SP management right now. 
if this had an SP gauge one on it instead of a attack prize plus. So let's try one more time. I'm gonna see if I can get it on video with you guys. This is definitely doing a lot more damage now. So if you guys pull the tune metal, you would also be doing that kind of damage. Not as much, but you have to pull the power tune metals or Sora. Oh no, Genie! Genie, you took my SP! <laughs> that wasn't supposed to happen. Okay, let's see if that turns out to work out anyways. So, Goofy does a little bit. Joshua's gonna do this. Oh no. I can't, I can't. Genie, Genie ruined me there. So, this is not gonna work out again, just because of Genie. Oh, it is gonna work out, because Genie actually gave a couple buffs. But anyways, uh, there you go guys. That is basically the quest. Uh, it, the Genie was not supposed to activate, I'm sorry for that, but you saw it was possible the way before. Hopefully something here helped you guys out. This is just to pass quest 160, so you guys can continue forward. Paralysis will stick eventually. It happened to me. It's, it's, it, it actually affected the enemy twice. I'm losing my words right now. It's really cold. There's snow outside. I'm freezing. This room doesn't have actual heater. I had to buy a heater this year. Last year I made all my videos and all my sweaters. I need to get something, especially with all this equipment around. Um, but yeah, hopefully this helped you guys. If you have more strategies, leave in the comment section. If you have more tips, leave that in the comment section. I just want this to be a starting point for everybody to come here, read the comment section, watch this video, see if they can help them pass Quest 160 because a lot of you guys are stuck here. So if you guys have any more tips, down in the comment section. If you enjoy this video, don't forget to hit that like button. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Keep on smiling, and I'll see you in the next one.